so hello guys and welcome back to another video I'm sorry about the uh, little drop in quality here <laughs> it's because I'm having to record on my GoPro Hero 6 seeing as I um, may or may not have damaged my main camera again this time I dropped it in the river but um, I'm kind of hoping my girlfriend will watch this video because she's gonna kill me when she finds out anyway um, <laughs> I'm out today doing some live baiting if you couldn't tell by the title We'll be watching these takes from perch and some pike at the end so you've got to stick around to the end to see some sick pike takes i'm going to be looking at exactly how these fish take the bait so what i found is there can be some interesting little things that happen under the water that we can't quite see from the bank like exactly the way the fish react to the bait being down there the way they take it the way they present themselves to the bait like with perch you'll notice that dorsal fin will fly up in the air when they see the live bait um sometimes as soon as they hit the bait, they put the dorsal fin in the air. I actually think that's because it's sort of a warning to other predators. You know, as soon as it's taken a bait and it's eating it, it's kind of in a vulnerable position. Also, there's going to be other fish out there that might want to take that bait from it if it's clinging onto it. I have seen pike, especially, attack other pike that have got fish hanging out their mouths and perch have done the same. So they put that dorsal fin up in the air, make themselves look bigger to try and scare away other predators. It's really interesting to see. Let's roll the footage, get watching it. Hope you guys enjoy this. And let's watch these attacks. To start off with, I've actually got a homemade fish trap. I've shown one of these in a video in the past. It's just made from a plastic bottle. Um, I've taken another two lids of plastic bottles, cut a couple of slits in the side of it, pushed these lids inside the bottle, just poking out, and I've put some pellets inside it, and some rocks to help weigh it down, positioning this, on the, uh, positioning this on the riverbed, and the minnow actually go in through them bottle tops that you've pushed in the side of this old plastic bottle, and when they go inside to get the, the feed that's in there, they actually get trapped and they can't get out. So what I'm doing to catch some little live baits before I start this session. You can have a little bit of a look at that underwater, a little bit of a cheeky peek at what goes on down there. And then let's crack on.
as big a vision I to hit it. hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i enjoyed filming it definitely the underwater stuff is a bit more of a challenge for me to do but when it comes to editing it actually i knock it together in about an hour it's really easy to edit if you want to see any more underwater stuff feel free to comment it below and if you want to see anything else comment it below too thank you guys for watching i'll see you later Oosh.